What's up everybody, 360 Juice here, back with another video for you guys, and today I'm going to teach you how to tie your do-rag for beginners, of course, if you're already elite and you know what you're doing, of course this video is not for you, but if you want to watch this video and see what you could get out of it, you know, that ain't gonna hurt, so you know, make sure you leave a like and everything, feel me, and try to watch the whole video, I'm not gonna make this video too long, it's gonna be quick and easy, alright, so I'm teaching you guys how to tie your do-rag the right way, and we are starting right now. They ain't sick of me rapping. They know that I'm never lacking. You ain't never gotta ask me. I'ma do what I gotta do for the fam. I'ma make it happen. Was on the way out, but I'm back in. Need a new bank account with the cash in it. Hey. Alright, so if you're wondering where I get my do rags from, I get it from 26kingwavymerch.com. I have that link in the description below. If you guys wanna check it out, go ahead. And I got this count for seal. All you gotta do is check out the description. I have the link to the do rags and all my other products that I use. But let's get started with this video. First, beginners, why do you wear your do-rag in the first place? You wear your do-rag, number one, to save progress. Number two, to lay your hair down. And number three, because that's just what wavers do, you feel me? We're known for wearing our do-rags, you feel me? And you definitely gotta wear your do-rag to sleep. That's the most important part. You could take your do-rag off when you wake up, but when you go to sleep, you're taking a nap. Do-rag definitely has to be on. And when you're wolfing, yeah, you might have to keep your do-rag on like maybe all day because if you have a lot of hair, just a little, you know, touch can mess up your wolf. And you want your wolf to be laid at all times. So that's why sometimes you'll see waivers have the do-rags on all day and that's because they're wolfing to progress and become elite waivers. So first thing you want to do, uh, beginners, you want to put your do-rag on like this, right? I'm going to show you guys this step by step. I'm going to show you all everything, all right? A lot of waivers uh, tie their do-rags and they stop right here, right? I'm not gonna want you to stop right there. I'm gonna put your do rag on, right? And when you put it on, I want you to go all the way down to your nose. If you're a beginner and you haven't, you know, learned this method, you're gonna learn this step. So when you come down to your nose, right? You wanna make sure everything's flat. You wanna make sure your strings are on the right sides and stuff. You don't want your strings to be all crossed up and stuff. So you wanna fold it up right here. You wanna push your middle finger to your eyebrows, right? Like the top of your eyebrows. And you wanna fold this up, right? And you want to line them up, line them up. Now what you want to do is you want to go all the way around, right? Boom. Now this next step is crucial, so pay attention. All right, now look. If you have a 216 wavy do-rag, the only thing I love about 216 wavy, I love the design of the 216 wavy do-rags. And another thing, the straps alone. So if you want to do the no knot method, that's a method I'm going to show you beginners along the way. But if you want to do the no knot method, this is perfect for the no knot method. So um, I'm going to just save that for another video. I'm not going to have time to explain it this, in this video because I don't want it to be too long. So um, what I like to do is I like to hold it with my mouth like right here. Some people like to do it like this. Some people like just like, I like to hold it with my mouth. Mm. Since the 26 King Wavy logo is on the outside, you're gonna have to flip it when you get to the back because you know when you when you bring the do-rag down to your nose and flip it up, it's now in reverse, like it's inside out. So now when you go from behind, you have to flip it back to the right position. You feel me? And I just make sure everything's straight. I just like my do-rag to be neat, so make sure everything's straight. Do the same thing with the other side. Oh, I didn't show you the back. Let me untie it and go to me. The back, all you're doing is tying it like tying a shoelace, man. Now, beginners, you can either leave your do rag like this, leave it hanging down. Um, now, since you remember when you rolled it up, since you rolled it up to the front, you took too much of the do rag, so you can't really, you know, put it over your head. Like, like you're cool and stuff. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna either leave it like this or just roll it up. 
Now from here, you can either tuck it in or tie it up. You could tuck them, them in or you can tie it up like this. And then tuck. I feel like that's more secure, so that's why I like to do that. So the reason why I'm showing you beginners to tie your do-rag like this is because it's the best way to tie your do-rag. You get the best results out of it. It holds your hair down better than tying it any other way, all right? Um, this works well for when you're not wolfing and it works amazing for when you're wolfing as well. When you're wolfing, you should be double compressing and this with a double compression will be the best, okay? But if you start getting headaches, beginners, take the first layer of durag off or if you start getting headaches from this, untie it, loosen it up and just make sure that it's not as tight. All right, so all my beginners, I want y'all to pay attention to these videos because I'm doing them step by step. I'm doing all the videos that I know that's crucial, that's going to be crucial to your journey. So pay attention, take notes, and I got just the right video for you to watch next. It's gonna be up here. Click that video, pay attention, take notes, and watch the whole thing. You're on your way to becoming elite. Just trust the process. It's your boy 360 Juice, and I'm out of here. Peace.